Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are having our adventure at California Adventures. We're gonna revisit Avengers Campus. We got ourselves another Web Slingers boarding group. And we're just gonna check and look for updates, see what's new, see if I missed anything, and yeah, just have a good time. I'm here with my siblings, so. So let's go on ahead and see what's new. Okay, so we're finally in, and I got myself a new ticket, and this time, it's Captain Marvel. It is currently uh, 8.30. We actually went through the Toy Story parking lot this time. Um, and it was our first time doing that. I never did that before. And I gotta say, it's honestly, I think in my opinion, it's better than Garden Walk. Um, because you just take a shuttle and they check your security there at the parking lot. So you don't have to do it when you get to the actual park, which is really nice. And you know, at the end of the day, you're all sore and tired and you don't want to like walk anymore. So if you're looking for like an alternative parking lot and you've never been to Toy Story, uh, then I definitely recommend that one. But it, it is $25 still. Just keep that in mind and you still have to wear a mask. Okay, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get more footage of uh, Avengers Campus today because I missed some of the shows. Um, I believe the Doctor Strange one. And I want to try some more food there, because I've only had one of them. So we got group 31, and we're being called in 25 minutes. 1 through 27. I you guys are ready for Avengers? Yes, I'm <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they have not gone before, so this is their first time. So let's go check it out. Alright guys, first update, no more rope line. So there's no more uh, standby that you have to wait for to enter our Avengers Campus. Wow, you can just walk in like any other land. That is absolutely insane. Over here in line for Web Slingers, and it's kind of long today. A lot longer than I expected for uh, right now, but it is July 3rd, so I mean, I, it's pretty busy right now. Um, but this is longer than the wait I had to do for last time, which was uh, pretty much a walk-on. Ah! Mike, glad to see you guys. So what did you think of the ride? It was, it was good. I was so scared when there was like a big spider and I was so scared. It was really fun. I kept laughing because she was screaming at the big spider. <laughs> Super fun. We got on the leaderboard. Oh yeah, because we had like four of us there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so fun. I rate it 4.5 Lightning McQueen's out of 5. Yeah, probably like 4, 4.2-ish. It's a lot better than I remember it to be honest. It was so fun. I didn't really like, have any expectations, so like it was pretty pretty good in my opinion. I heard it was okay, but I thought it was really fun. Hi Iron Man. <laughs> I like fun people. Oh, you definitely look like fun people. I'm not just colors, I'm golden red too. Okay, I am that too. Excellent choice. That's for the shirt. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're my favorite so I win. Yep. <laughs> I gotta hey, ask. You look like wacky misfits. If you were guarding the galaxy, who would be the leader here? <laughs> Me. No, I'm just kidding. No, her. She would be the leader. The leader. I knew it. You're a natural. Which no, one of your crew here is the talking tree? Oh, this one. Oh, no. All three of your words are just great. I bet you're fun to hang out with. <laughs> I have a question Thanks. for you. What is your favorite part of yourself? <laughs> Sorry, I just now classified that. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, we do gotta it. get a picture. Yeah, okay. yeah let's do it. Bye, Iron Man. <laughs> See you later. Wow, we gotta eat meat, Iron Man. He's so cool. He's so cool. He said I'm fun to hang out with. Told you a tree. Yeah. <laughs> a talking tree. Way more fun than climbing stairs. Don't forget to tag me on your video. Hashtag Amazing Spider Man. Woo! Hey everyone, looking good down there. No, you. Wow, no, you. this is a friendly neighborhood. 
Welcome to Avengers Campus. Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, me? Well, you know, just spider stuff. Okay, time to run some tests. Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Sharon. Shall we conduct an altitude test? Yeah, I guess I should do some work. Always good to have the data. On my way. Just need to find a clear path for somebody to swing from. Oh yeah, it's go time! Field testing, here I come! Okay, it's time to see what this suit can do. I hope it can do this! This is awesome! Yeah, I did that! I did that! Looking good, Spider-Man! Well, I have been working out. I meant the data. Yeah, I knew that. Hang on! I'm just gonna jump down and meet you! Okay, so we're here at Pin Testing Kitchen and I got myself the PB3 uh, Superb Sandwich, I think that's what it's called. Um, and it looks like it comes with a little milk shot glass, which I really like. It's like a nice little detail. You have like some peanut butter and this looks like bacon and the jelly is on the side. Yeah, this is pretty good, um, I have to say. I think I might like this. Um, just a little bit more than the not so little chicken sandwich. Um, it's a little sweet, but I I don't think it's too powerful um, of, with the jelly sweetness. Um, and the the peanut butter is pretty well balanced with the, with the jelly, so it's not bad. And the, I'd say the bacon doesn't really interfere with anything either. I'm gonna try this. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> that is really sweet. Um, I did not expect it to taste like that. I don't know, it's just like a really sweet milk. It's pretty good though. I'd rate it, this overall, probably like a 4 out of 5 rice bowls. I got the Honey Fusion. There's like lemon, Plymouth Gin, uh, lemon juice, honey. There's a honey straw somewhere in there. I think that's it right here. It's kind of kind of hidden in there. I see it. Right? You do? Mm. Refreshing. Refreshing? Yeah. Can I think, try? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What does it taste like? Gin. Uh, <laughs> I think it's like... It's, it's, uh, it's a little sweet. Mm. Yeah. You could definitely taste the honey in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. This is the panini sandwich. Maybe it's like ham or something. I don't know, but you have to dip it in the sauce. Mmm, very good. They kind of like a panini, like panini, but I think that's ham. I'm not really sure, but it's good. I got the Proton PB&J Punch. Um, it has peanut butter and strawberry flavors in uh, Minute Maid lemonade um, and PB infused with cream and 
PB pretzel spears on this side. Ooh. That looks delicious. Yeah. Okay, try it. That I don't taste the lemonade that much, but I can taste the hint of peanut butter. It's not strong. It's like I don't really taste like that it's minute made. I like it. Mm, it's like refreshing. I don't know how to describe it. It's like nutty, but um like a really sweet um like strawberry flavor. Which one is this? Do they have different faces? Spider, but I think you pushed the button on. I think that's a button on top. It's a tiny spider bot Why? compared to the big ones. I think it just scuttles, like you push the button and it scuttles across the floor. It's kind of cool. I actually really like this bag that they wrapped the spider bot in. It's really nice. And here it is. Oh yeah. Tell them the name. Yeah, what name did you choose? Spider bot. I named, him, I named him Ralph. <laughs> nice. I like that name. Alright, so here's a closer look at the mini spider bot. Uh, it's so cool. Even just having this one, and then there's a button on the top. And you press to activate it, and then it moves. Haha. <laughs> look at that. Speed. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Wow. Look how big it is in my my hand. It's insane. <laughs> oh, go at it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> running away from me. Bye. Uh. where Dormammu can't find it. And for that, I need a powerful relic from the cabinet of Carabieros. This cloth will hide the ring from Dormammu. However, the astral ring has a mind of its own and must be contained before it finds its way back to the dark dimension. No! I need to go back in time to recover the astral ring. Stay where you are. I'll be back five minutes ago. Dormammu! <laughs> this is the astral ring. We need to hide it someplace where Dormammu can't find it. And for that, I need a powerful relic from the cabinet of Kata. Oh. Yes, that's right. Let's try something else. The Soul Seeker has guided many heroes throughout the multiverse. However, their motives are as mysterious as the Dark Dimension itself. Ooh. She senses great mystic wisdom amongst you. Ooh. We don't have time for games, my friend. Ugh. Very well, have it your way. She wishes for you to identify the hero that may lead us to the staff. Ah, we're looking for an Avenger with godlike powers. Someone worthy. Oh, yes, say it again. Ooh, yes, oh, of course. <laughs> the Asgardian. Oh, I should have known. There's indeed mystic potential among you, fascinating. Thank you, my friend. You have once again nobly fulfilled your purpose. Now, you may go back to sleep. Oh, 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 oh. Back to sleep. <laughs> oh, 
By the power of the Bashanti, bring me the son of Odin. We need the spectral staff. I have my hammer, Mjolnir, and this drink. It's quite good. In fact, I'll have another. Oh, no, 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 Thor. <laughs> you Asgardian oaf, give me that. I love doing that. Thor, you've been a great help. Uh, but why don't you head on over to Pim's? You know, I hear they have drinks as big as you. Are you serious? Yes. I haven't brought any... Uh, anything you like on my tab. Thank you, friend. Thank you, Thor. I don't have a tab. <laughs> the urn. By the shield of Seraphim. The spectral staff! <laughs> Quickly, Thor Mamu is upon us, everyone. We must harness our energies. Like this, either hand will do, but if not your hands, your mind. But I need everyone to focus. Good, good, good. By the power of the Bashant, we create this spectral sheath for our campus, for ourselves, for the astral ring. You have truly protected this ancient sanctum. Our reality is safe because of your powers. May the all-seeing eye of Agamotto guide you safely. Farewell, for now. Okay, we are at the Backlot Premiere Shop, and holy cow, there is so many Marvel-themed things. Um, look at these keychains, wow, that's really cool. Has the Avengers logo on it, uh, and it has light effects. There's a button in the back, and it activates this glow-in-the-dark light. I think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How much is this? This is $14.99. Wow. Wow, look, they have action figures. Wow, that is actually insane. There's <laughs> Stanley. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. How much are these guys? Well, Stanley is two thirty-five. The Hulk is five hundred dollars. That's insane. Okay, this is awesome. It's a life-size Iron Man suit. This is Mark III, and it's a collectible statue. Wow, that is expensive. But that is really cool. Wow. Oh wow, they also have a Lego Iron Man mask set, I think. Let's see, this is Lego Marvel Spider-Man Carnage, $69.99. And the Iron Man's helmet, also $69.99. And look, they made a Iron Man poster out of Legos. And you can get this set as well. One, and it has one picture and three options. Wow. It's actually pretty cool. Wait, look at these mugs. Oh my gosh. I can't get everything. How much are these? <laughs> oh, it lights up! These are... Oh. Okay, these are $19. Oh, and it has... Like Quinn Jet <laughs> Division, <laughs> California in the back. And oh. here's the front side. I didn't even notice in the back it has... Um, oh, look at this shirt. Like, Spider-Man. Oh, wait, no, who's that? Hmm. I think that's Spider-Man, is it? No? It looks like Spider-Man to me. Okay, then what's that? No, it looks like jet. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. I want to make sure so it's a medium. How much is that one? Thirty-six ninety-nine. Oh wow. Maybe less for your. Uh, I don't know which one I want. 
I mean, I collect mugs and I like having, uh, getting like Disney themed mugs, but I also don't have any uh, collectibles like this from Web Slinger, so like, uh, I don't know. And they're both, I can only get one or the other, so I'm not sure. So I think I decided I'm gonna choose this one because we already have like a spider bot and I'm not even sure if this is like a limited item or whatever. And I could always get another spider bot, so I'm gonna go with this one. Okay guys, we are continuing our journey over to Grizzly River Run. Also, I completely forgot to mention, but I think the Spider-Man show is a lot shorter than it was before. It seems like they cut off some parts. Um, maybe because like some people thought it was too long. It seems a lot shorter than it was when I went. But it's not, it's still not that bad. Um, it's still pretty enjoyable. He does all the tricks and whatnot, so it's still pretty good. Okay, we are here at Pixar Pal Around the Ferris Wheel. And we're about to do one of my greatest fears, which is heights. And it's the swinging one, but my brother wanted me to try it. So, are you ready? <laughs> I don't think I am. <laughs> well, oh, oh, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. Oh. <laughs> They, they have motion bags, sickness. Bags. Oh my god. For your convenience. They're on your side. So that means they're yours. Wow. Well, they're all yours. And... <laughs> oh, that thing's leveling. <laughs> no. It's almost time. The back that and crowded coasters right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I can't look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't look. Okay, we're in Bing Bongs and we're just looking at the Toy Story section and a cast member just told us that if you collect some of these uh, Toy Story's toys, they'll actually interact with each other and have a conversation, so that's really cool. <laughs> so they all interact like that, that's cool. Wow, look at all of these Lightning McQueens. ka -chow. Let's see how much you are. $26.99. That is kind of expensive for a Lightning McQueen plushie. Oh my gosh, look at this Mickey. It's like a Pride Month Mickey. <laughs> That's so cool. This one is $27.99. Wow. And they have a mini one as well to match that. Oh, it looks like also a backpack. $55. Dollars, geez, that's insane. Over here at Pacific Wharf, and I do not think it is open yet. We got ourselves some strawberry tropicals from Rita's Baja Blenders. Oh wow, that's good. Tastes like a freezy. I'd probably give it like probably a five out of five. I suppose. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm kind of tired though, but it tastes like an icy. So yeah, like three out of five. I expect it to be like more, I guess, strawberry or more like more not like a slushy, but yeah. still pretty good. I like that it's a slushy, but as you can see from yours, like, oh my gosh, right? There's, there's, syrup on the there's so much syrup in it. It tastes like a wild cherry icy, but I feel like a little bit sweeter than that. Yeah. Okay, after a few, a few more sips, I'd say it's more of like a. 2.5 out of like 5. Right? While I am sitting here, I guess I'll explain. Uh, just a couple of like updates. Uh, 
So for pen test kitchen, it looks like it's no longer mobile order. Um, you can just walk on, and that was actually pretty nice. Uh, the the weight wasn't too bad. It's just like the whole system for it. It's not the best because it crowds everyone. I didn't know how to um, that. But it it really wasn't bad for like in terms of how long the wait was. In terms of crowds, I'd say it's been a pretty normal day. It hasn't been too busy. Um, it still seems pretty low. So if you if you're thinking of going to Disney or DCA, this would be a good time to do it. What was like the longest we ever waited for a ride? It was like. 40 minutes. About 40, 45 minutes. We haven't even hit like an hour yet, which is pretty good, but Cars is like, I think 60 or 50 minutes right now, and we haven't been able to get to that yet. So. Okay guys, we are heading to Cars Land right now, and we are going to try to capture the Shabu moment, and that's when all the neon lights in Cars Land turn on to the Shaboom song, like just like in the first movie, so let's see if we can capture that. We got our bacon mac and cheese cone from Cozy Cone Motel, I think three. Comes in a bread cone. Should we try it? That's so good. It's so um it's so like hearty. Just what you need. Super creamy. And then the bacon adds a nice crunch. Fish like mac and cheese and bacon bites. I'm gonna rate this five out of five rice bowls. I think this was really good, a good purchase. Here at Flo's Cafe, and this is Here. our dinner for the night. Chicken tenders, or should I say chicken fenders, and fries. Pretty good. We give them five out of five rice bowls. Enjoy a relaxing drive through beautiful Ornament Valley. Ka-chow! ka, -chow! ka -chow! other team but we lost Rip. we weren't kachow enough <laughs> we're not yeah, speed we were blue so yeah we had to be lightning mcqueen in order yeah. to do well yeah and they yeah, were, that's they the were lightning yeah sadly sad all right i think that's gonna do it for the vlog so uh i mean we had a pretty good day a full uh, day here yeah uh, it was pretty chill the wait times weren't the worst yeah they were um, bad the only thing I'd have to say was like the heat, but you can like pretty much deal with that with like drinking lots of water, um, staying hydrated, and then of course the rides uh, will help with that too, with like Grizzly River Run. Um, taking breaks. Yeah, Sing taking down. breaks. I, you know, I don't remember like the last time I actually like sat down and just like did nothing at the park, um, just for like a little while. 
So it's good to just take those breaks, not not to burn yourself out. You don't. You, you can definitely going. take take your time at this park too. You don't have to like yeah. rush around like Disneyland. Yeah. So um, I think that'll pretty much do it for the vlog. So thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below. Uh, and consider subscribing. Uh, it really helps me out. And hit that notification bell so you know when I post. And I will see you all next time. Bye! Guardians?